All right, let's jump right in. I'm gonna be using this Too Faced primer to prime my face using NARS in the foundation in the color Barcelona, which has a little bit of an orange tint. I'm gonna apply it using a beauty blender. I'm also gonna be bringing down this foundation down my neck and my chest area to make sure that I have an even color all the way down. Because Scar does have a very orange skin tone, I'm gonna be using this LA Girl Foundation in the color orange to give my skin a little bit more of an orange tone. I'm gonna be using my James Charles palette, taking the color 10% off and this big old fluffy brush, I'm gonna be adding this orange tint all over my skin. And I'm gonna be taking the color No Beans and using it to contour my face around my cheeks, my forehead, around my neck, and anywhere on my chest area. Using the color Tune, I'm gonna be putting that underneath my eyes, on my forehead, and my nose, anywhere I want to lighten areas up. I'm gonna be taking this Wet n Wild paint pot in the color White and a brush to begin to paint on Scar's muzzle taking my Anastasia Brow Pomade in the color Ebony and paint on my eyebrows. Make sure that you paint on some really arched eyebrows. That's gonna really give you that scar evil look. Taking the color Spooky, I'm gonna darken these eyebrows up. Next, we're gonna do eyeshadow. Taking the color T and a Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush, make sure that you Cover the entire lid with this color on both sides. Make it look extra smoky. I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild black crayon to paint on top of my lids. This is gonna create that smoky look that we're going for. I'm gonna take this brush and begin to blend and smudge and even out these rough edges. Taking the color Benny and this eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna begin to blend this color all over the lid, creating an extra smoky look. the same color but with a smaller brush I'm gonna begin to create some eyeliner on the bottom of the lower lids taking that same wet n wild black crayon I'm going to apply it to the waterline on both lower lids taking a small brush go in I'm gonna go in and smooth out some of these harsh edges Now for some eyeliner. Make sure you use a liquid liner. I'm taking this one from Tarte and creating a slight wing on each side. Taking this wet n wild paint pot in the color white and a small detailed brush, I'm gonna begin to paint this iconic Scar. In the movie, Scar is portrayed as the evil uncle who has nothing but evil plans. According to the story, a buffalo slashed Scar's face with his horns and that's how he earned his name, Scar. Bam! Gotta have them glam lashes. Using this wet n wild paint pot in the color black and using a small detail brush, I'm gonna begin to paint Scar's nose. Taking the color spooky once again, I'm gonna begin to pat this color on and seal it up. Okay girl, I'll see you. Taking the color 10% off and a small detailed brush, I'm gonna begin to paint on his whiskers.
taking my black Wet n Wild paint pot, I'm going to begin to color in my lips. Taking a little bit of highlighter, I'm going to use my finger to apply it to the middle areas of my lips. Ooh, child! Taking flashback and this flat foundation brush, I'm going to begin to pat it onto the muzzle area. Going back with the color 10% off and this fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead and make those areas around my face a little bit more orange. Taking the color Punch Me and the small detailed brush, I'm going to begin to outline the nose and the muzzle to help them stand out a little bit more. Taking my black Wet n Wild paint pot once again, I'm going to begin to create Scar's Widow's Peak here. Fabulous! We all bear some kind of scars either from someone who hurt you or from bad decisions that you made. I want to remind you that you don't have to live in that brokenness. God's word tells us, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. That is a message of hope and restoration, one that is true for me and it can be for you too. Okay, beautiful. Till next time.